on top on the top it's it's easier to sew but if you're stitching with the the red bit on top the main fabric on top you find sometimes that the fabric stretches so it depends on you how you want to stitch this down And when you do that, this becomes nice and sharp. Here we go. Can you see my edge line here? This is my edge line, but I want it to be as sharp as the other one on the other side. Now, when you buy curtains from the shop already made, the inside of this is not tacked down and it rolls. So it doesn't show that quality as we're going to get achieved today. Not forgetting to remove your pins. So, right. So we'll give this a good old iron, sharpen it up, make sure it still remains the size that we want. Now I haven't, I haven't put the rest of the fabric, the lining over the body of the curtain yet because I'm going to show you the next point. So do you remember I was telling you about making sure that the lining, let me bring the camera closer. Do you remember I was telling you about making sure that the lining is covering the red fabric underneath can you see the transparency of it coming through the to the fabric right so what that does is it it hides the red fabric and it makes this look so much neater underneath there so you see a line a straight line of the lining which helps to cover up the fa main fabric underneath so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to flip this over I'm going to flip it over because I gave it a nice press there clamp it out of my way you don't have to sew this down but today I think I'll sew it down And exactly what I did to the other side, which I hemmed this all the way up, that is what I'm going to do now. And then that will keep this still. So all the way up, I'm going to hem. I looped the cotton. I hemmed the curtain first. And I've got the top. And I've got the top I now need to do. What was the biggest secret was most people think is that you do the top of the curtain first and then you hang the curtain up and you sit there for hours on end hemming the bottom of the curtain. No. That's something I learned as well when I went to classes. I went to my uh, soft furnishing curtains and I was amazed to think that I was doing it the wrong way all these years. So, um, but I've been making curtain for years now so and I do it the right way but now today I'm I'm telling you our secret you hem it first before you make the rest of the, the rest of the curtain so now we're going to deal with the top and we're going to measure as I said this is a, a hundred inches uh, finished job and now we're going to hem our curtain which we do it This action as well sometimes require two people. I've got to do a lot of running around when I do it by myself. So while it's in this position and it's still still, nice and flat and all the ears are out. Get all the air out. This is the way you hem the curtain. 100 inches, got my tape measure. I'm going to start from the middle today because 
the camera is not at the edge. So we can either put a pin at the top. So I haven't got flat head pins, so I'm going to have to do it the other way. So I'm going to bring my, my fabric down. I'm going to turn it over. And then I'm going to measure it for one inches. I'm going to make sure this is at the bottom because I've got a lot of walking around to do this curtain. Right. And at the top here, whoa, I bring it down to one in, 100 inches. This is what the customer required, 100 inches. We'll leave our tape measure alone. Tape measure along. Make sure at the bottom of the curtain it's in the right place. And at the top, 100 inches. Go back to the bottom. And from there, Iron this. I'm going to pull it tight and I'm going to iron it. Now I'm going to go to the other side. that the tape measure make sure look make sure that this is at the bottom of the curtain and then go back up to the top <laughs> now that you're at the angle from the top of the curtain now you're looking at the top you can see that the curtain measures a hundred inches which is 254 centimeters. So all the way down at the bottom of the curtain, the tape is at the bottom, which is the bottom of the curtain. I put a good thickness on it. See, I'm not sure if they call it the slip stitch. All right, so you can't because you can't see it. Invisible slips. So now we're going to put a three inch tape on the top of the curtain. In fact, I'll show you in more detail. to stitch it down you can pin it down but I'll just get on with it and just stitch it on all the way up the top strings you pull it and you tuck it inside but that causes a bit of a bulk so now I've done that to keep my fabric still I take the pins that are that is above and I just pin it down below to keep it still because when I do the other stitching it keeps it nice and straight 